Hey, how are you? Welcome tonight to Cookie Mutt Tupperware and Champion. We're thrilled to have you with us this evening. We've got some fun recipes tonight. We're going to teach you some unique things. We've got some fun cookies. We got a fun drink you got to have. You know, you always want to start with a drink, right? And so my name is Pam Clift, and I'm the business leader here at Champion Enterprises. And the directors and I run this fun cooking class for you uh, so that you can get on here every single Tuesday night. It's 8 o'clock every Tuesday night. And find out how to use your Tupperware, things you already have in your kitchen, or maybe something you want to add to your kitchen. Either way, we want you to always feel welcome and wanted, and we give away free Tupperware. So why not tune in, right? And so tonight we're going to be giving away some drawings. We've got some trivia to go on out there tonight for fun. Um, you know, Tupperware is 75 years old. We're actually on our 76th year right now. And um, one of the coolest things we've had lately happen is um, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is on an Amazon Prime. It is a series there, um, has decided to feature a Tupperware party. So we are getting all kinds of publicity and some fun uh, vibes coming off of that. And a lot of people are wanting some really cool bowls that they saw on the show. And Tupperware brought out that five piece bowl. Really new and improved, a lot prettier, right? Yeah. Um, than it was years ago. However, it's the same practical bowl in its exact same shape uh, your grandma had, your mom had, and maybe even you have the new uh, Wonder Lear bowls. The Wonder Lear bowls are $35 in the catalog uh, for a set of three. And this marvelous Mrs. Maisel set is a set of five for $35. Wow, right? <laughs> Good deal. And you're going to love having them in your home. In fact, they're called the Wonderlier Bowls because you're going to wonder what you did without them, right? So they are so practical. These are actually the very first bowl that Tupperware uh, made. The very first product they made, though, the first item they made was not this bowl. So if you can tell us in the chat right there what was the very first piece of Tupperware ever made, we're anxious to see who has the right answer. Um, there's no gift. But we certainly will give away a door prize and a couple prizes anyways. Uh, we can't really tell who puts it in there first in the, in, because of the algorithms. And so it may look like you're first and we have somebody else first. So we quit trying to play that game and frustrate people no more. All right. But what I love about our Wonderlier Bowls is the tab is easy to pull and find. So it's not so tiny. You can't find it. Yay. So that's a little new improvement on it. When you pull your seals off, remember to put them on, you walk around. So you start on one end and you walk all the way around and you, uh, they, they always say first base, second base, third base home. Yeah. All right, and that's how you can get it sealed. Um, and so it works perfectly that way. Anytime you see a round seal on top of where, they are in airtight and liquid tight containers. And so you wanna burp any round seal to make it completely airtight. If you burp it by pushing in the center and pulling up on the side just to dab, you're going to hear a little bit of Tupper talk. If you listen really close, listen. Did you hear that? <laughs> it said fresh. <laughs> but seriously, it did. Um, so it's called Tupper talk. And if you listen really close, you can hear it when you burp your Tupperware pattern with bowls at home. Now, I want to tell you something else that's really cool about this. A lot of people don't know. I really like the set of bowls because um, did you know that on the base of every single bowl, um, it has uh, the little B right there, that tells you what the seal is, all right? And so if you ever lose your seal and you call your Tupperware lady and say, I lost my seal, she's gonna say, turn the bowl over and give me the numbers. But if you see a letter, you can give her the letter instead and boom, you've got your right seal perfect every time. Isn't that great to know? All right, and so another thing that's really cool is all of these bowls, the entire series will completely condense down inside the big bowl. And so you only need room to store one big bowl and you've got them all, all five bowls. So whether it be the cottage cheese, the macaroni and cheese, um, whether it be, you know, the sour cream, anything you open up that comes in a container that has a plastic lid on it, um, after you open it, there's Caroline cracks in that. So the cottage cheese, the sour cream, uh, the potato chip dip, all those things should be transferred to a airtight, liquid tight bowl. So you don't have any bacteria going in and out of there. 
uh, when you're putting in and out of your refrigerator and you keep it fresh for yourself and your family longer. Another thing I like to do with this set of bowls, whether I um, use it for mixing up chicken salad or mixing up a little bit of egg salad. I also love these bowls so much, for some fun recipes. This bowl is perfect for one package of Jello and go ahead and add your cold water and your hot water in here. And then add all the leftover fruit in the house that you have, a little bit of uh, sliced strawberries. Maybe you have a banana you can slice up and put in there. Maybe you have some marshmallows. You might throw some marshmallows in that jello. Um, maybe some walnuts. Um, I really like to go ahead and add, uh, if I have any fruit cocktail left over, I will go ahead and add that inside of there. And you take it and you seal it up like you show, I showed you to do, and you burp it, and then you put it in the refrigerator and you lean it against the wall of the refrigerator. So you're going to put it on its side like this. And you leave it there a couple hours. When you come back to it, you're going to open up your Jello, and guess what? It is all separated. You have a layer of marshmallows. You have a layer of plain jello in the middle. You have a layer of fruit top cocktail. You have a layer of bananas. <laughs> you have a layer of strawberries. It goes in its own little compartments by itself. It's like science 101 right there. And you know what's really cool about it? It's everybody gets their favorite jello. So you can take a scoop and go all the way across the bowl and have a little bit of everything or a scoop just in the center and get the uh, plain jello for the kids. Sometimes they want that or maybe they want the strawberries. Uh, so it's super easy to do and fun for the kids to see it happen too. And then the next bowl size, uh, really a great size. These are great for using for lots of different things. I like to use this one and make a watermelon dessert. And that is where I take um, and inside of this bowl, I line the inside of the bowl with um, raspberry sherbet. And then I go, I, I'm sorry, lime sherbet, okay? Line the inside of the bowl with lime sherbet. And then I take lemon sherbet and take a thin layer of lemon sherbet down inside this bowl. So I do my, my lime sherbet about uh, half an inch thick, and then my lemon sherbet about a quarter of an inch thick, and then I take raspberry sher sherbet and chocolate chips. Raspberry sherbet and fill up that bowl completely in the hole in the center until it's completely level. Then I put my seal on and walk it all the way around again. No need to burp it. It's only going to be in the freezer a little bit. You put it in the freezer. When company come over, you can pull it out and um, it's ready for dessert for the evening for the family and have a nice little dessert. Take your seal off and it will slide right out of there if you set it out on the counter for a little bit. If you're really in a hurry and you don't want to have time to set it on the counter for a little bit, go ahead and just dip it in warm water really quick and that seal's on there. Nothing's going to get inside and then take your seal off. Turn it over, put it right on a plate, and it's so pretty. You slice it, looks just like homemade watermelon. So cute, so fun. And then the big bowl, oh, my favorite, <laughs> all right. I call this stained glass, uh, a dessert, stained glass cake dessert. And what I do is I take this bowl and I take strawberry jello, because that's my favorite, but you can use any color you want, um, any jello flavor you like. And I take strawberry, um, strawberry uh, jello. And I take the two, the bigger package, and I add my cold water, I add my hot water to solve it all up inside of there. But I go ahead and take out whatever recipe I'm using. I take about half of the water out, and I take frozen strawberries that have been sitting out on the on the counter, and I've taken those out of the freezer early. And I go ahead and add that down inside of here. That's my ice cubes, and so I don't add the ice cubes. I add half the cold water, all of the hot water. And then that amazing strawberry with the liquid. And you slush it around inside of there. Whoa! You slush it around down inside of there and you get it really mixed up. And then you take angel food cake that you bought at the store. And that's a very big, important part. You do not want to make one at home and use it because it has a crust on it and it doesn't absorb the jello as well. And so you take the angel food cake that you bought at the store and you tear it up into about half an inch pieces to an inch pieces. Tear it up. And then you put it down inside of there and you slush it around really good. Then you are going to love this. You're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it set up in the refrigerator. And, you know, a couple of pull it out and then go ahead and take your beautiful serving plate and put it on top of there and turn it over. And it'll come out in a beautiful full globe and it looks like stained glass. It's so pretty. It looks like painted glass. It's beautiful. When you cut it, it looks like um, just divide it all up like tile, like uh, artistic tiles. It's so pretty. Uh, you're going to love it. It's delicious. And guys, a little bit of Cool Whip on there. Wonderful. 
And if you have friends coming over and you're not sure whether or not they're dieting or not, this is even good for people that are diabetics. If you use the sugar-free Jello, they can have the angel food cake and they can have the cool whip and it's a really good diet dessert as well, all right? And so, you know, Tupperware, we make anything a Tupperware, we take out the calories, right? <laughs> Maybe not. So you want to get this in a bowls on the party tonight, okay? It's only $35, a great addition to your kitchen. And if you have other bowls from before, why not give your kitchen a facelift? Um, you're going to love it and they are going to love living in your house, all right? So let's turn it over to our amazing star director, Lori. Um, and Lori is uh, truly a, um, I, a, a wonderful blessing to our company. She is so good at demonstrating and she's going to show you how to make a fun drink for the night. Go ahead, Lori. All right. Thanks, Pam. Hi, everybody. So I was thinking as Pam was talking, you know, what goes best with um, Jello and Sherbert, but vodka, right? Who's with me? Raise your hand. So um, I have my one of my favorite vodkas. This is Effen vodka from the Netherlands. I like this because it's smooth. So what I'm going to make is a vodka gimlet, right? So it's super simple, just a few ingredients. And I'm just going to say, I don't have any martini glasses. Our house has so many different glasses. Um, most of them Tupperware and we have our clearly elegant glasses, but I don't have any martinis. So I just grabbed these champagne flutes, which are um, good for this type of drink, but a martini glass would be the best because you're only using a couple of ounces of each. Okay. So the first thing you make is simple syrup. So simple syrup is simple. If you can boil water, you can make simple syrup. And all it is, is equal parts of uh, sugar and water. So you can put it on a stove, but um, what's easier is to put it in the microwave. Um, and I used our little vent and serve, right? Because you can put the vent and serve on, you can put the top on and you just pull up the little um, rubber thing on the top, the little rubber, that's the technical term, the rubber thing on the top. You pull it up and you put it into the microwave and you heat it until it dissolves. So I only did it for a minute and it's dissolved. So there you have simple syrup. So this recipe, we have our shaker, right? And I put some ice in there about halfway because you want your uh, gimlet to be cold. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Oh, what else you could do with your simple syrup before I move on? If you wanna um, infuse flavor into a drink like this, because this just has uh, vodka and lime juice and simple syrup. So if you want to, infused flavor, you do it through the syrup that you made. So you can steep some cinnamon sticks in it. You can add a little vanilla. Um, if you want to do ginger, you take some ginger root and you steep it while it's warm. Okay. So that's how you add flavor to your syrup if you want to change it. And then you can just refrigerate this and you can feed it to your hummingbirds, right? That's what hummingbirds like is syrup that you make, sugar and water. All right, so for all you bird lovers out there. So I'm gonna use our Tupper minis and I have, we know that a Tupper mini is two ounces all the way to the top. This is lime juice, one ounce of lime juice. And then this is the simple syrup that I made, one ounce of that. And of course, the main ingredient is vodka and you have to have double amount of that. So we're gonna do four ounces of the vodka. So um, I have not tried this, um, but I'm going to say that you probably don't want to drink too many of these and then, you know, drive around town because it is double the amount of vodka of anything else. And it's pretty much straight up just like a martini. All right. So we're going to put the top on and close it. So you don't wear this and you shake it up. Shake it up. Good. See this, get your arm muscles going before you have your drink. Okay. And then you take your glasses, whatever they may be, and you pour it in. Look at that. It's all foamy. Ooh, you even get a few ice cubes. You probably should strain the ice cubes, but hey, there. You can use your finger. That's a good strainer. So I'm going to sip this one. And you can garnish it with lime, um, or you can put the lime in, but it has lime juice in it. So 
just for the effect, you can take some lime and cut a little um, hole on the side and then put it on the side of the glass, okay? And that is how you make a vodka gimlet. Oh, and mine just fell off and went in, but that's okay. So um, I'll be posting this recipe. So while you're having these other recipes that we're gonna make, you can make yourself a drink and uh, the recipes will definitely taste better. So cheers. Hi everybody. Okay, thank you, Laura, that was amazing. So who came up with the right answer on the trivia question? Anybody come up with it? What are some of the guesses? Jenny, tell me what. Jessica, can you tell me some of the guesses? I know if she's hearing me right now. Okay, so let me just tell you what it is. <laughs> it was a bathroom tumbler, all right? In fact, it looks very similar to our bell tumbler today. And so that was the very first thing that Earl Tupper made when he was designing Tupper products. He made a bathroom tumbler. However, Brownie Wise is the one that got so crazy excited about the bowls that he made next because the Wonder Bear Bowl was the second product he made and she loved the bowl. Now, Brownie Wise was the very first Tupperware lady and she uh, was so excited. She was selling fuller brushes and when she was selling those brushes, she was having great success. But when she found that she received a bowl, a Wonder Bear Bowl as a birthday gift, she couldn't quit talking about it. And so she started telling everybody why was she selling her full of brushes that they needed to go to a hardware store and get these Wonder Lear bolts. And guess what happened? She decided she started going to the hardware and get them and sell them. But why she was selling her full of brushes. Well, pretty soon she called Earl Tupper and said, I want to sell your Tupperware product and I want you to take it all out of the warehousing, out of the hardware stores. I want to do it on a party plan. And she created a party plan. And that was how Tupperware got so famous. To be honest with you, for years, Tupperware was not successful, two or three years, uh, until Brownie Wise came along and created that success. So Earl Tupperware created it, but it took a woman <laughs> to make it popular, right? And so I'm gonna show you tonight something how fun to make out, it is fun to make, and a really fun recipe of deviled eggs. Now, deviled eggs, seriously, who doesn't love a deviled egg, right? I love my deviled eggs and I make them in my smart steamer. So I take the eggs and I put them in the smart steamer and you're like, what? You put them in the microwave? Yes, it is so easy. You're saying, no, eggs explode in the microwave. No, not if you put it in the right product. This is a smart steamer and you can actually make rice in here. You can use it to steam your vegetables. You can steam um, uh, 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 all kinds of amazing meats in here. Uh, Tupperware originally released it and called it the Smart Steamer. They have changed the name now to 3 in 1. And so when you see any recipes that call for the Smart Steamer, you're looking for the 3 in 1 now, okay? Uh, so what I do here is I put water in the bottom and only fill to the water line. And then I go ahead and put my eggs down the side of this part. This is the magic because this is metal. Co Tupperware coated metal, all right? And so when you put it inside of there like that, then you're going to go ahead and add the top lid. When you put the lid on top, you've got a metal encasing. And so the water boils and causes steam. The steam comes up through there and cooks whatever you've got inside of there. And this time tonight, tonight, I cooked eggs in there. So I put 12 eggs in there and the recipe says 12 eggs for 12 minutes, eight eggs for eight minutes, 10 eggs for 10 minutes, never less than eight, okay? Uh, eggs up when you're cooking down inside of here. However, I wanna tell you a secret. If you pull your eggs out of the refrigerator and they're really, really cold from being in the refrigerator, you need to add a minute or two, all right? Because it's gonna take a little bit of time for those eggs to warm up and start cooking. And so if you have 12 eggs, add two minutes. If you have 10 eggs, add one minute and eight adds, eggs add one minute, all right? And so that it will cook because they're so cold. I had people tell me, it doesn't turn out for me. And then I figured it out, what was happening? I will also tell you, older eggs cook better, believe it or not. Uh, really, really fresh eggs are hard to peel. When you're getting ready to peel those eggs, they're gonna be really hard to peel, then you know you bought eggs that were too fresh, all right? You're like, how can I find old eggs? Well, you just buy them ahead of time. If you know you're gonna make eggs, uh, deviled eggs, for Easter or something like that, buy them a week early and put them in the refrigerator. 
And then when you pull them out, you can set it out on the counter for an hour or half an hour. It would work better for the exact time, 12 to 12, 10 to 10, 8 to 8. And if not, add a little, a little time to that. I did my eggs tonight and I did 12 eggs for 12 minutes. And I wanted to show you something really special that we did years ago. And I loved this with the kids and that was made colored deviled eggs. And so all you do is you take your bowls, uh, you need to have bowls of water. And I did my Shirley Ehrlich and bowls tonight. And so you do green, red, and blue, which makes pastels. <laughs> and it'll make pastel green, pastel red, uh, pink, and, and baby blue. However, the longer you leave it, the darker it's gonna get. And so I wanted to show you my eggs that I colored tonight. How pretty are those? How fun, right? I always leave the green in the longest because I like it to be darker. And then because it looks more like grass for Easter. And then the pink and the baby blue. Isn't that fun? You can do purple, you can do yellow, you can do any color you want to do. We go with these pastels. Now, this egg tray, I want to tell you, was out for sale like a week ago. So if you were with your Tupperware lady like a week ago and ordering stuff, you might have got it. However, it went off the sale last week and they're no longer available. And I want to share with you why it's so important for you to stay in touch with your Tupperware lady and always look at her sales specials, always look online, go to the online category of the sales specials because Tupperware pulls things out of the vault from time to time and they'll come back, all right? And so this is gone again, it's back in the vault, but if you tell your Tupperware lady you really, really want it, she'll put a note out for you and make sure the next time they come out, you're able to get it the deviled egg inserts that go in our large, large snack store. The large snack store is still available. It's the inserts you can't get all the time. They go back in the vault. And so what I did is I took my eggs and I opened, up the, opened them up, put my egg yolks inside of our oh, ever so loved Power Chef. And you're gonna love the supersonic Power Chef. It's so fun to use for so many reasons. And I put the eggs down inside of there. So all we need is we need uh, the uh, mayonnaise, um, we use jukes. <laughs> you can find that in your local grocery store now. It used to be, it was only sold in the South. Now you can find it up North too. And if not, you can always order it online, all right? Because first time we got it, we had to do that because we weren't in the South to buy it and it wasn't available yet. Love our spatulas, by the way. Uh, this is a silicone spatula and it's um, really handy to have and use. It's very strong. Um, if you ever um, have had a spatula that kind of complains about working and it just kind of bends down on you, you're never going to have that problem with our Tupperware spatulas, all right? And so we're going to put our lid on after we put all of our ingredients in there because we can cook it off, do it all at once. Um, I love our counterscapes. I use it for the salt and pepper in my home. It's quick and easy. Um, and they come with little scoops in there. The scoop does store on the lid uh, right there. <laughs> you can pop it right in right there. I have a tendency not to do that because I um, am always cooking fast, but you can pop it in right there and it stores right there for you. So you have to dig for it. All right. And then um, the other thing you're going to add inside of here is the mustard. Now it calls for... Um, uh, a fourth a teaspoon of mustard, but we like more. And I never measure the mustard because it's just, why well, measure your mustard and measure, uh, dirty your measuring spoons? However, I will tell you, I love our measuring spoons from Tupperware because um, one of the things is they all do snap together, but I always tie them together. So it's easy for me to find them and use them and I don't have to fight so much. But if you want to measure anything from to, uh, with your measuring spoons, it will sit and wait for you, which is an advantage. But another thing, they are extremely accurate. You know, when you're, when, you're, when you're baking, it is really important to be extremely accurate. When you're cooking like this, you don't have to be accurate. If you like a little extra pepper, put it in. If you like a little extra mustard, put it in. Want a little extra mayo, put it in. Um, so you have to worry about all of those accuracies when you're cooking like you do when you're baking. But when you're baking, you want Tupperware's measuring spoons and measuring cups because they're very accurate and it can make a huge difference when you're baking. And we're going to have our baker come up in just a little bit. You can see how fast this is. Uh, it's quick and it's easy. You take that, uh, just top it a few times, and you're going to have that come out very fast for you. I always go in and clean off the sides once or twice uh, just to make it easy. But I'll be honest with you, if I just sat there and kept grinding, it would clean the sides for me. I come in and do this because I just find it a little faster and easier for me uh, to do it that way. All right. Uh, so then slide, put it on that, and then I go again. Good. 
make them beautiful. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna take that lid off of there and I wanna show you our scoop. I really like our scoop. Now, when I pull this out of here, I'm gonna tell you, I take this and I take it out right away and I always put it on its stand right there so I don't have any worries about accidentally slicing my finger with it or something like that, hitting it wrong. I love our scoops. It comes with three different sizes uh, on the balls. <laughs> Got big balls, medium balls, or little balls, all right? And so it is very handy because this part, part just snaps off of here by taking the back part right there and pushing that in, and you have it uh, uh, very practical for you. Now, look at this. You just scoop this, and it makes a perfect little ball for your eggs and puts it right down inside of there, and you have the perfect amount on top of your eggs right there like that, and how fun, how easy and how practical to make your deviled eggs. And they're gonna be beautiful, little parsley on there. And my husband, <laughs> he was begging me when I was choosing the recipes tonight to decide to make the eggs. Just make the deviled eggs, all right? Because we just take it a little bit of our shirachi. It calls for hot sauce in the recipe. We prefer to put it on the side so we don't have grandma getting the hot sauce, all right? And looky there, perfect. All right, so let's give away some Tupperware. All right, so we're looking for, how many people do we have on right now, Jessica? 27. Woohoo! All right, 27. And so Alexa, give me a random number between one and 27. Hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and 27. Here's the number between one and 27. It's 13. 13 is our lucky winner. All right, number 13 is Angie with Taylor Steele. Congratulations. All right, Angie with Taylor Steele. Taylor, make sure I get Angie's information and I can send her some free Tupperware. I'd like to have that come to me in Messenger. So send that over to me tonight in Messenger. Pamela Matheny Cliff. I think we're already friends though, so it's perfect. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's turn it over to Amy. She's going to make some really cool cookies. Hey everybody, Amy Gardner here. Um, so I love baking. Um, I just so you know, I am kind of losing my voice a little bit, so um, don't mind me. All right, but anyway, I I already have here my favorite bowl, and um, when I began, I actually had the handle on the left. This is our that's a bowl. If you don't know about our that's a bowls, this is some of my favorite bowls. Um, very handy and it has the little handle on the side so I do have three kids and I love having them in the kitchen with me and so having them um, help me um, I always have them hold on to the handle so and my little guy who is six um, is left-handed so I always put the handle on the on the right hand side but anyway um, I get to make uh, and I've never I baked I've been baking for a very long time probably about um, well, 15 years since I've been married, I've been baking and, um, uh, I've never made black and white cookies. I've, I've heard of them, but I've never actually made them. Have you guys ever made black and white cookies before? But they're, they're so fun. And I was telling my girlfriend about it. She's like, I love black and white cookies. So guess what? We're actually, I'm taking them to church. So if you're around here, I'm to church on Sunday <laughs> and you can try them too. But anyway, um, it's so easy and it's so fun. So I, what I already did was I took some butter and I, um, and with my sugar and I just, uh, I creamed it and I just used our spatula um, and it works really, really well. So I'm actually, we have our sugar and our butter in here and then we're gonna add an egg. I always crack my egg on the side. Um, I used to watch those cooking shows and they'd say, don't crack your egg on your thing because then eggshell can go into um, your container. You don't want that, right? So anyway, so we have eggshell and then it calls for um, uh, zest of a lime. So this lime here, look at this lime. Isn't this beautiful? Um, hello, this is a, gosh, I probably got it like a month ago. And um and it's still nice and yellow because I kept it in my fridge smart. So when you keep, if you don't know about a fridge smart, you've got to ask your consultant about it um, because they are amazing. They will keep your fruits, your vegetables, your herbs fresh for like three, four, five, six, seven, even sometimes up to eight weeks um, 
uh, longer than just putting them into your refrigerator, all right, or into your crispit drawer. But so I have my beautiful lime and I have the zester. So this zester is part of our um, all in one mate. And so it, you can zest right on top of here. It also comes with an egg separator um, and a one other um, top and oh, it's a juicer. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? I know what it is, it's a juicer. So if you want the juice of the line, which we're not using that tonight, um, then you can juice this as well. So I'm actually just going to take it and do it right over top, just hold onto that and zest right over top of my bowl. So I don't have to dirty up that other bowl. Now it is good though, if you need to also juice the line, all right? And then I could do it that way. But so you, it actually calls for about a half a teaspoon and guess what? We have the recipe. so we will make sure that you get this recipe. Um, and see, you can see it on there. I'm gonna actually just take my spatula and wipe it inside out. There's some on the other side too. I'll just get some of that. All right. <clears throat> so, and then almond extract. So when I was a kid, I did not like cookies that had almond extract in them. And well, I tried these ones earlier today. They're pretty good. So we need, uh oh, I think it's a half a teaspoon. Of course, I don't have it. You know what? I'm just gonna eyeball it. It'll be all right. So just a little bit goes a long way. All right. So we got about a half a teaspoon of our almond extract in there. But yeah, I, whenever I, I used to smell the cookies and to see if they had almond in them. And if they did, I wouldn't eat them. <laughs> So, and normally it was a recipe that my grandma, I love my grandma, I love my grandma's cooking, I love her baking, but those cookies that had the almond in them, I just, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so, not, there's not very many things that I don't eat when it comes to my family's recipes. So, but anyway, so we're just going to mix this up a little bit but you don't wanna mix it too much because if you mix it too much, then it can cause the cookies to not um, be nice and plump like we want them to be, all right? Uh, or not as nice and soft. Okay, so we have that mixed up and then we're gonna to add to it um, some, what's next? No, oh, I know, this right here. Oh my gosh. So I, Look at, look at how pretty this is. Isn't this so pretty? So this is part of our new hostess rewards. So for if you um, like these little bowls and if you are not hosting a party currently, if you need to host your own party, all right? So that you can get some of these bowls. And these are our little impression bowls. And in here I have buttermilk and sour cream mixed up already. And I also have our flour. So we're going to put about half of the flour in, mix that up a little bit, and then put our, um, our sour cream mixture in, and then the more flour, all right? So, but you just, you wanna make sure that you are not um, <clears throat> putting it all in at one time, okay? But isn't this so pretty? So this is, does this look like glass to you? This is not glass. This is our part of our Clearly Elegant line, um, which is made out of the same material that Pam was showing with our uh, counterscapes, which are also so pretty, right? They look like glass, but they are not. So that is about one and a quarter cups of flour. And it, that's what those the little ones hold. They hold about one and a quarter cup. And the, the little, little ones aren't always around, but when they are, make sure that you are grabbing those up, all right? So from your, from your consultants. And so we're just gonna get this mixed up just enough. And then we're gonna pour in our um, sour cream mixture. So I love, love, love these spatulas. Pam was telling you a little bit about them. I use these all the time. They're my favorite. They are my go-to for sure um, <clears throat> because they hit everything. So when you have a little bit of peanut butter left or you think that you don't have any peanut butter left in your jar because it's just, you know, around the outside, 
well, let me tell you, you could probably get a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter, no joke, um, from um, that jar, all right? Go ahead and just dump the rest of it. Um, and with the spatula. And I, I'll never forget when I was hanging out with my dad and my mom and I was like, um, the kids were eating some peanut butter and there wasn't much left and they said to go ahead and rinse it out. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I showed them, I said, look, you have more butter, peanut butter left. Um, and they're like, okay, so are you gonna eat that? I'm like, well, no, you can eat that another time <laughs> because the kids already had their peanut butter. But anyway, so um, this bowl that I'm using and the spatula are actually um, in one of our uh, one of our sets. It's an amazing set. If you are interested in getting about three hundred and eighty dollars worth of Tupperware for just uh, hundred and nineteen dollars, you should talk to your consultant. All right, because these two pieces are part of that. So I have my dough. Look at that. It's all ready, so it's very doughy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're going to use our silicone. And I also am, let me set that aside, um, using our scoops. Love these scoops. And you know what? When you get these scoops, they're brand new, right? We have a digital recipe book that you can get with many different recipes for these scoops. So we're just going to take the scoop and we're going to put them on this silicone mat. I love our silicone mats. You don't have to use any spray on it. You don't have to use any kind of oil. So there's no extra fat in here. Um, and they, they come right off um, and you don't have to, um, they're easy for cleaning up and they're easy for storing. Plus, you know what else? They, um, when you cook on silicone mats, they heat up quickly and evenly. So, um, and that's, that's a big thing, right? Um, plus, you don't have to worry about it rusting um, or staining because this isn't gonna rust and it's not gonna stain, but these silicone mats are amazing. And they do have little circles on there. So like if you wanna make um, macaroons or meringue, then you can do that on here really, really easily. Um, and we're actually going to do this in a little bit, but um, I recommend using the middle, all right, um, scoop, which is two tablespoons. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside because I already made my cookies, all right, and they are in our clearly elegant um, shallow container. So, and when, when you bake them, they're going to look, okay, so this is the bottom side, right? Um, the top, it kind of looks like a biscuit, but you're gonna flip them over because this is where we're going to have our icing. We're gonna um, frost these with some with the glaze. So we're gonna just go ahead and do that. And I am using our mixer. So love this mixer. I already have in here our powdered sugar. Um, and I went ahead and I actually, I, I kind of, I like to air out my, my powdered sugar. And so, I um, I just turned it a little bit more. All right, so this is our whip and mix. Love, love, love our whip and mix. And um, this is side. All right, so <clears throat> in here, we are going to put, um, we are making our plate. So we have our sugar and it calls for either corn, um, okay, why can't I think it was called? Okay, so, um, corn syrup, all right, or honey. And I love honey. I love um, um, local honey because it has lots of good uh, nutrients and um, things like if for allergies, all right? When you, you wanna get honey, you wanna make sure that you're getting the honey from um, some, somewhere that's local to you, okay? So um, my dad was reading something about it but there's like 17 good things about honey. Um, so you should Google that, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and this is what is going to basically, and I should have, uh, I should have put a little bit of water in my tablespoon. 
because then the honey would have came out a little bit better for us, but that's okay. So we're going to just go ahead and let that honey go around. All right, and then we're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Let's see, no, I'm gonna use this, my teaspoon. All right, now we're gonna put in two teaspoons of vanilla. And one and two. So there we go. All right, and we're gonna set that aside. And then we're gonna to add to it um, two tablespoons of water. So this is going to be the main thing, all right? <clears throat> Oops, <laughs> I just got myself, it's okay. Whip it up just real quick. All right, so um, that happens. All right, so we're gonna actually put this. There's two gears on this lid mixer, which is really nice. All right, it's starting to get. Oh, look at that! It is actually okay. I'm gonna get whip that up a little bit with them off. All right, so you know, like when you have the batter uh, and your um, um, your electric mixer, you do the same thing, like you just whip it a little bit and so that it drips around in there. So we have our um, awesome blaze. Now I am actually going to take, and I should have done this, but it's only gonna take like 30 seconds. All right, so I have in here um, some chocolate chips and a little bit of coconut oil. So we're just gonna do 30 seconds real quick and melt that chocolate. And then um, we are going to make the white glaze and the, the black glaze all at the same time. So in that one, we have our chocolate, um, the melted chocolate, a tablespoon of water, and two tablespoons of cocoa. All right, and then we're gonna put a little bit of the glaze in there as well. So but while that is melting, um, I am going to go ahead so that I don't get the black on my white. We're gonna go ahead and take oh, a spatula and you're just going to glaze half. All right, so I'll kind of draw, you can't see what I'm, can you see what I'm doing? Kind of draw a line down the center. All right, and you, this is why you flipped it over so that you can just have the half. All right, but nice and flat. So I have that, I'm just gonna sit on top of my cookie. And we have our chocolate. Now, when you melt your chocolate, it's, it's going to be melted, all right? You don't wanna over melt it because then you can have problems, all right? So I love, love, love our micro pitcher for melting chocolates, for melting, um, our butter, or you can um, I actually have a little tip for you for softening butter, but I'm going to pour some of this. This is another thing I love about our whip and mix is it has a little pour spot on it. All right, so we're going to pour some of that white in there, and we're just going to mix it up. We're going to add the water, and the cocoa, and we I'm using our minis, our tub of minis, guess what? If you spend, I believe it's what, $50, you can get some tougher minis for free. So uh, make sure that when you're placing your order, if you are at $45, you're so close. You wanna go a little bit more, right? And we have some awesome water bottles on sale. And um, so you can add one of some of those to get you to that 50 point because our water bottles are eco-friendly and then you can add the tuppers, the tupper minis to it. All right, so I have my chocolate glaze, okay? And we're just going to put that right on top of the other side. I guess maybe I should put a little bit more white on there. Look at that. I made my first black and white cookie. Isn't that fun? 
All right, Pam, back to you. Hi, it is time for us to give away more Tupperware. Uh, so we're looking, how many guests do we have on right now? 29. 29, okay. Hey, Alexa, give me a random number between one and 29. Here's a number between one and 29. Okay, yeah. it's number nine. Number nine is Heather with Mary Sizemore. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're the winner with Mary Sizemore. Mary, make sure I get her information. Heather, you can find me and give it to me too. Either way, I'd love to be your friend. And so that is um, free Tupperware from Pam and Jim for being on the cooking show tonight and being a door prize winner. So how many guests do we have and how many hosts do we have, Jessica? Oh, great. Um, let's see here. We have 26 guests and three hosts. All right. Our three hosts that are on, I want you to get excited because we have a choice for you. With a $500 party and two of your friends saying, you know what, this is fun. This is easy. I can make a, have a Tupperware party with my friends. And my friends would love getting on a cookie show like this and seeing what's up and what's happening. Well, with two of your friends doing it too, and $500 in total volume sales, you get to have all of this beautiful, clear, acrylic line Tupperware. It is not acrylic. We are a step above that. <laughs> We're, uh, we are a really, really cool Triton product that is going to be more scratch resistant and more durable for you. I love these. These are called ice prisms. See how I hold it to the <coughs> eye and it just picks up the light? It is designed to do that on the edging that it's designed for uh, to make it really, really easy um, for you to have beautiful, beautiful uh, glasses in your home, yet still practical and not breaking. These are great for the boat. They're great for the pool. They're great for outdoors. They're great for the fire pit. All of that because they're not glass. They look like glass, but they're not glass. They're they're Triton. Um, this is our picture. This is so pretty. When you want to go, go ahead and make a, a strawberry daiquiri in here for lots of gas, or if you want to use this for a wine with some fruit in it. Um, I also really have to tell you, fresh water with um, strawberries in it, or cucumbers in it, or lemons in it. It's really, really pretty. Uh, and then our gorgeous bowl set. Remember that um, stained glass uh, dessert that I told you about? You can do it in this bowl. You just have to have more jello and more, more cake. And it's so pretty in there to leave in this bowl and not turn it out. That leave it in this bowl. It looks beautiful in there. And you can just serve from this bowl. Whether you're doing tossed salads, whether you're doing pasta salad, macaroni salad, they're so pretty in here. And you know what's really nice? When it comes to holiday cooking and families in the home, you know, you want to use your beautiful lead crystal but it's not practical because it doesn't have a seal. And if you're going outside at all, when you have a lot of people in, you're hoping you can use the outdoors as well, right? Um, it is so nice to have seals on here that you can stack in the refrigerator and have two or three salads ready to go and stack them up. And I will share with you, this is also a really nice set to have um, because when you're stacking them and using them, it's really practical to also set on the table and when you have it outside, leave the seal on it until it's time for everybody to go through and get the food. So you don't have little critters flying around and wanting to go in and try your potato salad before anybody else, right? And so I like to put big fruit salad down inside of here and then my fruit dip inside of here. And it looks really pretty to even go into anybody's home. You know what it's like when you walk in and everybody goes, ooh, what has she got? And you're like, hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's so, so pretty. And this also makes a lovely gift. If you want to have a Tupperware party and give this as a gift to a new bride or somebody's housewarming gift, because you maybe already have this set, because we did have it for sale one time. We brought it back out of the vault. And so you might want to give it as a beautiful gift. Look how pretty. Appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, a nice salad, girls luncheon. Oh, love it. You could do two parties and get it twice and have a service for eight. <laughs> then this one. This Crystal Wave set, not including this little uh, set of wonderlers that we already talked about. The Crystal Wave is microwave pools. All right. And so with a thousand dollar party and two datings, you can actually get both. You can get this set and this set. Wouldn't that be cool, right? 
this is made for reheating and microwaving anything that you've had for dinner and you want to put it away. You can use it very easily by just rocking the cap and put it in the microwave. And so we've got the best idea ever. Have you ever had to go to work and put something in the microwave in that work microwave and you look inside there like, ooh, who cleaned the microwave? Like nobody. <laughs> and you're like looking at all the things on the walls and you know, when you turn on the microwave, those things might just fall in your food. You don't want that either. No extra flavor, right? And so this, <coughs> this is so nice because you have these nice little bowls. You can use this for soup. You can use it for spaghetti. And guess what? They're stain guarded. So they don't stain. Isn't that the coolest ever? <laughs> All right. As long as you use it properly and use it for reheating, which is 50% power, you're going to love these forever. All right. And never any stain. So whether you have the three quart or if you've got two of this size right here, which is eight and a half cups. And we have our two and a half cups right here. You get four of those. And added bonus, these are awesome. I love these so much. My son used to call these love dinners. And I said, oh, Justin, that is so sweet. He goes, mom, I love to eat. <laughs> I go, oh, okay. That's when he was in high school wrestling. And I would put his meal inside of here. So he didn't get leftovers. He got the first run of the meal. And I would put his mashed potatoes and his, his meatloaf in there with his green beans or whatever he had for supper and keep it in the refrigerator and nice and, and uh, fresh for him. And he could pull it out and just rock that cap and put it right in the microwave and warm it up. But what happens when you have this seal on and you're just rocking the cap is you're not killing your food. You're not nuking your food. You're not destroying it and turning it into hockey pucks. You're actually steaming it. It actually steams because the lid's in there and it causes it to have a steaming effect instead of just a nuking effect. All right. You're going to love it. And it's free when you have a Tupperware party of $500 to sell some two days. Free when you have a Tupperware party of 500 cells and two of your friends dating uh, from your party too as well. Or all of it free with a $1,000 party and two datings. I know, you really have to have two to get a $1,000 party and get it all, all right? Now, what's really cool is you could take a shopping spree and anything over and above the $1,000 is going to give you free shopping spree, all right? So you can get lots of Tupperware. If you'd like to get just a lot of Tupperware, you could do that too. I have to be honest with you, when I joined Tupperware, I came in for the Tupperware. I wanted to redo my entire kitchen, and I decided to join Tupperware because I personally <laughs> needed to have funding to, to, to take care of my new addiction that I had. I opened up the Tupperware catalog, and I wanted everything. In fact, one of the very first pieces of Tupperware I wanted was this little guy. Back then, they called it the cold cut keeper. Now, they call it the large snack. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Those are our deviled eggs we made tonight. I know my husband is like, please, I want to No, I need to show them. But he's going to enjoy that this evening. And I want to remind you that if you're a guest with us tonight and you're shopping, there are some freebies for you as well. With a $50 order, you get not one, not two, but six of these little guys. They're called our minis, and they actually hold two ounces. And I want to tell you something really cool you could do with these. You can take these and you can put two egg whites in here or two egg yolks in there. If you're calling for a recipe and it says you need egg yolks, why not keep the egg whites and use them in the next omelet you make? And, you know, it's perfect and it really adds a lot to your omelet and it's not wasteful. Or if you're calling for a recipe and it calls for uh, two ounces of something, you're like, how do I measure two ounces? right here, all right? It actually has a one ounce and a two ounce line on it so you can tell exactly what's in there. These are perfect for those little bit of everything that you wanna take with you. Maybe some almonds for a snack, you can take them in there. You can also use these for sprinkles if you wanna keep sprinkles separately from the other sprinkles uh, because the containers came in an envelope or something like that. I've had that happen before. I like to carry my own shaped almonds because often I want a salad and it doesn't come with nuts and I love nuts, I have a nut fetish. And I can kind of take my shaved almonds in here and sprinkle it on my salad when I'm in a restaurant, which is really cool and easy too. You're gonna love these, all right? You're gonna want more of them because you know what happens to these little guys? They get bed, borrowed, and stolen, all right? And you're gonna think, where did they all go? So make sure when you spend $50, you pick them out for free, all right? And so any $50 order out of that Tupperware catalog, get you them for free tonight. So make sure you take 
quarter because there's so many cool things going on right now. Don't forget to look at our sales section. And if you want those egg tray inserts, make sure you tell your Tupperware lady so that she can let you know when they come back out. It could be really soon. They just ended. And sometimes when they find out the volume left, they'll bring something back out, even if it's a couple day sale. So tell her you want them. So guys, have you had fun tonight? There's so much cool stuff in Tupperware right now. And you know what? Right now with the movie out there, with well, the show out there, it's our Tupperware is flying, all right? It's selling really, really fast. And I want to share with you, if there's something you want that's on sale, get it fast because we are running out of things from time to time and we don't want to run out of what you really, really want, all right? And so let's give away free Tupperware one more time with our door prize and our host award. And so all of our hosts, all three of you will go into a drawing for free Tupperware and your Tupperware is just a little nicer in our door prize tonight for the host and then also our guests one more time. And so how many guests do we have on right now today? Jessica? 29. 29. Okay. And so, hey, Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 29. Here's a number between 1 and 29. It's 11. Number 11, just one. Number 11. It's Lillian Patterson with Nisha. All right. Uh, Congratulations. You're the lucky winner. All right. And so make sure Nisha sends me your address so we can get that free Tupperware to you uh, for our last door prize this evening on gas. Now we've got our three hosts. And what are their names, Jessica? We have Mary Sizemore with me, Nisha at the family with room. Rebecca, and then Taylor with Spring Steel. All right. So number one, two, and three, just like you called them. Hey, Alexa. Give me a random number between one and three. Here's a number between one and three. It's two. Number two. Number two is Nisha. <laughs> All oh, right. Yay. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. You're a lucky winner too tonight. Not only your guests, but you won too. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time this evening. We sure enjoy you. We hope that you enjoy the show. And we'll see you back here next Tuesday. So somebody volunteer to be a host. So all the stuff that you want can be ordered underneath somebody's name for host credit. And certainly, let's do this again. All right, guys. Bye-bye.